God fucking damn, it's like the forces that are don't want me to make this video. Hi guys, Dragonheart here today. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video last, but uh, yeah, I haven't played much Yu-Gi-Oh, I've been playing a bit more Magic and doing other things in my life. Uh, anyway, so I'm actually making Magic deck profile today. Uh, it's Gruel, so green red, um, energy aggro. It's a little bit different from what the other lists are. Um, it combines another list that I saw, which is uh, really interesting. So let's just get into this. Um, all right, so I run. We'll start with the for uh, the forests, <laughs> the mana base, the land base. Um, five mountains, six forests, three cinder glades. Sorry about that, all, some of the proxies. Three game trail and four aether hub. Aether hub are extremely good. Uh, I'll get into that later. Um, creatures. I run two long tusk hub. Don't really like the card, but uh, in some situations it helps you a bit by just making a big creature using up like spare energy. Doesn't really get you energy very well because uh, it doesn't have trample. If it had trample, it'd be so much better. Uh, and it, only, it doesn't give you energy when it enters, so uh, it's just it's just really a, a placeholder right now. Um, three Sage of Shalai's claim, chump blocker gives you three energy when it comes in. Really nice. Uh, four seven of conduit, extremely good card. Um, Probably one of the best cards, if not the best card in the deck, or well, second best actually. Um, <clears throat> Twenty one comes in, can give you a mana, uh, makes your turn for win so much more plausible. Um, we'll get into that later though. Four Voltaic Brawler again, gives itself trample, really really helpful with um, with built to smash, which gives you plus three plus three to it. Um, it's gonna help you win games. So I tried on eight three, I'm like nah, it should be a four. Um, three Bristling Hydra, which is about the right amount. Nice against decks that want to kill you stuff. There's no Mythics in here either, I, by the way. Um, and all, my, all the creatures and instants and sorceries from Kaladesh, only the lands change. Um, the fact that it can give itself Hexproof and a plus one plus one counter when it comes out. Um, and that plus one plus one counter is permanent. The fact that you can give it Hexproof just by playing three energy and you'll get a shit ton of energy in this deck is really nice. Um, especially against decks that just want to kill things off. And the most important card in the deck is Electrostatic Pummeler. We'll get into that in a minute. That can easily win you the game turn three. Uh, so for Sorceries and Instants, I'd follow Tune with Aether. It's the only one drop in the deck. It's so good though. Uh, sorry, it's not the only one drop in the deck. It's only the one drop that you can really use on turn one in the deck. Uh, we have lots of one drops. We have four Blossoming Defense. I've tried that at three, I've tried it at two. No, needs to be a four in this deck. Keeping Pummeler alive is just, keeping like your biggest win con alive is too helpful, plus it does too many other things in the deck, especially when you're playing aggro. One cost, hexproof, really good. Uh, four built to smash, again, it works really well with Pummel, because it gives Pummel a trample, and Voltaic Brawler gives it self trample, so basically you have eight other cards which it works extremely well with, that just have trample when used, and blah 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 blah. Uh, on top of that, we also have three lives in life, which works extremely well with um, Pummel, and it works well with almost every creature in deck, because it gives it trample, does have that two mana cost, so yeah, you know, whatever. Um, and the last instant is four harness lightning. I need to find a spot, and I was like, you know, this card seems great, and it really is great in this deck. It's really easy to drop, drop a mana turn one, play tomb of aether, search a mana, drop an aether hub, and then turn two, you've got six damage off harness lightning. Um, a lot of times you'll have four, five damage really, really easily. Everything you'll drop, even turn three, you drop it, you're almost 100% gonna have five damage. You're going to kill almost anything they're going to have from turn three. Um, and yeah. Uh, so the best combos you can probably get in the deck is... We'll just start with this quickly. You know, even dropping game trail harness lightning helps you get that off. Um, let's say we're starting with... One of each of these. Not even the lives of life. Maybe we'll draw into that. Who knows? So this is probably like the, the donk's hand. Um why you run like four almost everything in here yeah so you got seven cards this is probably the best hand you start with the tune of the aether search out a mountain in case you need the red and you get two energy i gotta remember all my energy drops too i'm really bad with that um cool next turn you play seven of the conduit and you get two more energy. This is hopefully you've gone first because it just makes it so much easier to win when you're ahead on the mana. And maybe you top deck a card, maybe you top deck lives in life or another blossoming defense. It doesn't really matter. Another one of these is just so much better for this. This. 
Cool. Turn three. You play out Aether Hub. You go up to five. You tap three mana. You play out... Let's just start a combo. They might only have one or two mana open. Who knows? Um, or if they're aggro deck, they're going to be worrying more about the creatures than your creatures. You pass turn. They go to try to kill Aether Hub. Uh, sorry. <laughs> not Aether Hub. They're let's just start a combo. You tap this, paying out one. You give yourself a green, and you give it plus two, plus two, hexproof. Uh, pass the turn, draw another card. So I haven't even added the cards that I might have drawn here. I've just got this. Um, sorry, that also got three when it came in. So it should have been up to eight and then you're down to seven. I'm really bad at remembering that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is the fourth time I made this as well. Um, Alright, so you have to combat. You swing. They declare blocks or not. It doesn't really matter. You go activate once on the stack. Uh, activate twice, whatever. Go built to smash. Maybe you have another blossoming defense just in case. Don't do anything, or maybe they've declared blocks. Um, you know, you've built to smash that. This is not even including the fact that you've probably got two more, two or three more other cards in hand. Well, most likely two if you've gone first. Um, that's now 16 16 if you've done it on the stack right. So you go double, double, built to smash. Or you can go double, built to smash, let built to smash resolve, then double and double again in case you don't want to. Worry about your energy being um, wasted. Uh, that's a 16 16 trample. If you played large in life before it attacked, or if you had Blossoming Defense, say they went to try to kill it when you played Built to Smash and you go Blossoming Defense, um, if you're lucky and you draw a second one, um, it's plus 5 plus 5 hexproof trample. Um, 6 6, 12 12, 24 24 hexproof trample. Um, again, it's it's the best card in the deck. The things that makes it's the thing that makes this deck work the best, I guess. Um, and that's just one of the best combos you'll get. Like that's that's the the best hand you can get in this deck, um, in my opinion. For for most situations, <laughs> for most situations, um, but there are a lot of other things the deck can do as well. Um, this is just your best win con, which is why I couldn't even take that out and why it works so well. Um, again, it's different from the other red-green aggro deck that I've seen, which is just like, span the field with creatures and attack. This is like, get this out and make it massive and swing. Yeah, I hope you guys like that. Um, yeah, give me some feedback. I'll try it out. See what you think. So, uh, what would you change? I don't really have a sideboard for this at the moment. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, Dragon Arthur out.